So as some of you know, a couple of weeks ago, I launched my affordable SEO data tool, clicks.so. And as exciting it is to launch something brand new, the only issue now is that I have to do SEO with a brand new domain in what is possibly one of the most competitive markets inside of Google. If we actually check out one of the main keywords that I'd eventually like to rank for, keyword research tool, we have a 100 out of 100 in terms of keyword difficulty. So no chance that I'm ranking for this keyword within the next year. But let's talk about how I'm planning to start getting traffic in 2024 for this brand new domain. Now, for starters, I basically right now only have a one page website. It's just served the purpose of collecting emails for the waitlist. But if I actually wanna start getting traffic, I need to build out a lot more pages. And I'm gonna start off by targeting my bottom of the funnel keywords and basically build out all the pages for the main features that I'm offering for clicks. And now this can also be applied to any other service-based website or online SaaS, even in e-commerce, right? Focus first on building those main pages that will have the highest likelihood to convert. So the four main pages that I'm going to prioritize first are pages for my keyword research tool, the site stats tool, backlink analytics tool, and the site audit tool. And I'm also going to be doing some deep keyword research to make sure that I find the right main keyword for all of those pages. I'm definitely not just going to blindly target keyword research tool and just pray that I rank. I'm going to try and find some type of variation that can be easier to target. So maybe adding affordable at the start, something along those lines, not too sure just yet. So step one is to build out all of those high converting pages, the bottom of the funnel pages. Now, next up, I want to know if there are any other static pages that I should be creating before I start thinking about my blog and generating some type of long-term content strategy. And now just from a quick analysis of both Ahrefs and SEMrush on clicks, taking a look at their top pages, there's two things that are quite evident. We're taking a look at Ahrefs here first. We're going to see that Ahrefs has this new section that basically takes a look at the top websites with most search traffic in the world. And so when you click into them, you then have a specific page and these pages are starting to get a bunch of traffic. It also looks like SEMrush has been doing the same thing for a while. If we actually take a look at SEMrush and their top, so they have the same thing. So top websites. And again, these pages are getting a bunch of traffic. So maybe it makes sense for me to do the same, right? This could be an easy way for me to create pages at scale with programmatic SEO. I also have a decently sized database of the highest traffic pages. So this could be easy for me to create. So that's definitely one of the possibilities. And the second thing that I found just from that quick analysis is that they also offer a lot of free tools. So as you can see here, traffic checker, backlink checker, keyword generator, all of these are free tools that Ahrefs is offering. And the same goes for SEMrush. Here's another one that they're offering for free. It's a free summary generating using AI. So a lot of different options here that I could also try and target, maybe offering some type of free keyword research tool, or free backlink tool. I'm not really sure yet. I think all of these can be quite competitive. So ideally, I'd like to do a deeper dive, find something that's not as competitive and then create a free tool for that. But anyway, lots of good ideas just from taking a quick look at your competitors. Highly recommend that you do the same. Now, let's talk about the blog. So there isn't actually much to talk about here at all. This is going to be absolutely brutal since Ahrefs and SEMrush both have phenomenal blogs and they have most likely written and ranked for every single SEO topic under the sun. But like any competitive niche, I think there's always ways around it. So either starting out with the least competitive terms and just doing a bunch of link building for those pages, or I'm also looking to use my size as a much smaller company as an advantage to be more agile than these massive companies and being the first to create blog posts on new trendy topics in the SEO space, which there always are a lot of. Now, the question is, how am I going to be creating content? And I do want to try some of these premium AI writing tools. I think the space has matured enough to actually be able to write high quality content with AI. I'm thinking Surfer AI, Kappa, and maybe even revisiting uh, auto blogging. Now, if you do have any other suggestions, please let me know in the comments, but I will be letting you guys know which one I use, what the results look like. And if none of these work, I am probably just going to end up finding a really good writer on Upwork. Realistically, I think the only real way of breaking through on the SEO side of things for clicks this year, it's going to be by building up the authority and as a result, the clicks brand. And so apart from focusing on EAT, growing the topical authority and all that stuff, I think the main thing that I need to do is focus on links and link building. So here's the plan. Clicks is basically at zero right now. If we actually check it on the backlink side of clicks, we're going to see we have 11 referring domains, but most of these are kind of trash or in some way related to a video that I've made in the past or just my own website. So not too many high quality links 
coming in. So a lot of work to do. So because I'm starting from scratch, I do need to start off with citations. So anything to start getting the website mentioned in well-known citations, well-known directories. So Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Google My Business, Crunchbase, all of those, any other directory that might be valuable at the start. From there, I'm also gonna do a product hunt launch and see where that takes me. Try to get the Clicks brand mentioned on as many places as possible. And depending on how well the product hunt launch goes, these can sometimes get a decent amount of links. So looking forward to that as well. And the last little initial link building push I'm gonna do is probably open up the affiliate program. I think these type of businesses where the affiliate model can do quite well, I'm actually not exactly sure how it's gonna look like yet, but just thinking for myself and considering other affiliate programs that I'm a part of, I am a big fan of the Surfer SEO affiliate program, which I've been pushing for a while. And the lifetime deal is what really gets people in. It's what got me in. So maybe something along those lines and you actually end up getting some high quality links just through people naturally promoting your stuff since they have an incentive through your affiliate program. Now I'm gonna focus on that for the first few months and depending on how the website is doing, how many links I've been able to get, I'm then most likely gonna dive deep into getting link exchanges, guest posting, link insertions, and most likely digital PR as well. Now, if you guys have any ideas, I'd actually love to hear them because I am entering in probably one of the most competitive SEO spaces out there. So let me know what you guys think and if you do anything differently, I'll see you guys in the next one.